The Volvo Ocean Race is renowned as one of the world's toughest sporting challenges, and this edition has more than lived up to that reputation. Leg 5 subjected the boats to 8 metre waves and winds gusting up to 60 knots, with only one of the six boats making it to the finish line in Itajayi without stopping for repairs. The high attrition rate has sparked a debate over the boats, with many asking just why we've seen so many problems. So who better to ask than the skippers? We turn to Ian Walker and Chris Nicholson for their expert opinion after both were forced to take their boats to Puerto Montt in Chile for repairs. These boats are all very well built. Um, I just think we're pushing them so hard and the conditions have been such. The boats are now so stiff and so light. I guess things are probably inevitably going to break with these materials and, and I don't know, maybe it's... Um, yeah, it's a good question that I'm sure a lot of people are asking right now. As sales, we ask so much of them and over the years we've learned ways of how we can push the boats harder. And, and these boats are an extraordinary design um, built by best designers, best structural engineers and sailed by the best sailors. Last race, no mast broke. This race, we've broken three masts. You know, there was, in mean, the last race, a couple of boats had to miss a leg. You know, we only had really one tough leg last time, which was on the way to China. And don't forget, three boats ended up pretty much getting smashed up on that leg, and the others stopped. The one thing you notice, there's been breakages, uh, but the boats certainly appear to have remained safe throughout them all. Uh, so I think, it, I think it's pretty good for the people to see. Uh, and they're difficult for us, and that, that I think is how it should be when you're racing at this level. You know, like look at the tide or it's life of the extreme. 